The next error we will have a look at is the error of complete reversal. This error occurs when the correct amount is recorded on the wrong side of both accounts. Let's have a look at an example. The owner took cash for own use, which is drawings, 700 million dollars. This transaction was recorded on the wrong side of both accounts. So let's have a look at how this was recorded. Well, drawings was credited with 700 and cash was debited with 700. And by looking at this, you could see that this is incorrect because if you withdraw cash, your cash will be credited and not debited. But let's now go have a look at how we will rectify this in our general journal. Well, firstly, we add the date, 31, but then there's something important we need to note at the error of complete reversal. Because you need to take note that the amount you need to put in is double the original value. What does that mean? You take the 700 times 2, that will give you 1,400. So, you will debit drawings with 1,400. And please note, this is double the original amount. And then you'll credit cash with 1,400. And your narration will be cash taken for own news recorded on the wrong side of both accounts. Error now corrected. Let's have a look at how we would enter this in our ledger. Now first we will show how this was recorded. Drawings was credited and cash was debited. Now let's have a look at how we will go about correcting this error. Well, we'll credit cash with 1400 just like in our general journal and then we'll debit drawings with 1400 also just like in our general journal. So the net effect will be that drawings will have a balance of 700 on the debit side and cash will have a balance of 700 on the credit side. And remember, our drawings will increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side and our cash will increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. And since the owner is withdrawing money, our cash should be decreasing. Let's have a look at how this will affect our trial balance. Our incorrect trial balance shows cash with a debit balance of 700 and drawings with a credit balance of 700 but even though the error was made the trial balance still balances. Let's have a look at our corrected trial balance. Now we will credit our cash with 1400 just like in the general journal and the general ledger which will leave us with a credit balance of 700 and then we will debit our drawings with 1400 which will leave us with a debit balance of 700 and after we have corrected the error our trial balance balances so you can see our incorrect trial balance balances before the error was corrected and after the error was corrected the trial balance still balances and again this is what you need to pay attention to when we are dealing with errors that do not affect the trial balance let's have a look at the next error 